Okay, so this is a quick intro into how to create your database on the StackNZ server and uh, how to set up a user for it. So um, what you need to do is go to www.stacknz.com slash cpanel and uh, if you're at school you'll probably need to um, get through the proxy, I already have so I don't need to do that. Um, now this is your usual um, username and password so if you're not sure of that just check with me and when we come in the cpanel should appear eventually and uh, once we get in there we're going to there we go, use the MySQL databases links right in the heart of all those links so click on that and then we come here. So this is the account maintenance for our MySQL part, which is the database. Now, um, initially you will have no database set up there, so the first step is to name it. Now, um, in my case here, I'm just going to name this one News, because I'm going to do a news example. You can uh, call it anything you want, just make sure there are no spaces, um, try to avoid symbols, um, and uh, I would generally go with all lowercase when you do this as well because that will make it easier for you to remember when you do the connection string on your web page. Now um, I'll click on create database and there it's done. So, now the next step, oh, and before I go on you can see there that the database has been added. Now the next step is to add a user to that so I'm just going to add myself as a user and uh, put my password in, a really complicated one like QWERTY and then create user. Now you can have multiple users with each database so you can create several users there. Now at the moment that user is not actually connected to the database so the next step as we work down the screen is to come to the add users to your databases section. So choose the user, in this case there's only one, the database there should only be one. Now I'm going to give this all privileges and then I'll click on add user to database and that's done. Now uh, what you'll see here is a little connection string I'll just highlight that. That's um, the PHP string that will enable us to connect our web pages to this database so we'll come back and we will use this later on in the future um, but just be aware that's where that appears. And uh, so what you have now is you have a database called, in my case database is called un database underscore news I've set up a user who is connected with all privileges and uh, that is the first step in creating our dynamic website.